Hello my friends, it's March 23rd, 2017, and it's time for today's big story. Today's big story is a really cool one, uh, and it's out of nowhere. It's a really big surprise to me, actually, especially when I consider that I've been covering Nintendo for so long now. It's something I wouldn't expect Nintendo to do, but I'm really happy to see them doing it. So in recent years, Nintendo has let their Treehouse team out in front of cameras to do a lot more. They've been doing stuff at E3, they've been doing other live streams for different games and stuff like that. If you don't know, Nintendo's Treehouse team uh, handles the localization for games, and it also does some quality assurance and other things. And uh, they've, been coming, they've been becoming a lot more uh, in front of the eye of the Nintendo fan, which is really cool because Nintendo's not really known for that stuff. So that's been going on for the last couple years. And now they're taking another really big step in this. The Treehouse team is has gotten their own Tumblr, and it's called the Treehouse Tumblr Log because they're a treehouse made out of you know wood logs. Get it? But anyway, they have the official Tumblr. They're calling it an official blog, and the Treehouse team is going to be leaving all kinds of notes and messages and updates on this official Tumblr. So really, the reason I think this is pretty damn cool is because it lifts the curtain a little bit more for Nintendo. We get to see behind the curtain a little bit more. Um, and many, many years ago, Nintendo was even more closed off than they are now. But uh, they've been getting a little bit better and a little bit better, better. And this step right here, I think, is a really big one. So right now, we're just getting to learn like who some of the Treehouse team is, which a lot of us are familiar with already. But as the weeks and months go on and as bigger games are coming out, I would imagine that the this blog is going to give us some insight into what's going on with those games, how they're working on them, what they're doing, and then maybe there will even be some fan interaction at, at some point, which would be fantastic. Noxide over on Go Nintendo says, There's a lot I want to say to these people. <laughs> the, way, the way it's written makes it sound like he wants to say some bad stuff. But yeah, that's kind of the point about why I'm excited about this. It, it, it's another avenue to read about what Nintendo's doing and what their developers are doing or qual uh, localization and quality assurance is doing. And just it's, it's another point of contact for Nintendo fans. It's another way for us to get familiar with what Nintendo's doing and perhaps get more information on why they're doing the things they are. And then, yeah, it, it's a way for, for us to interact with Nintendo uh, that we didn't have before. So it's going to be really cool. I think it's something to really keep an eye on. I'm excited to see what they do with it. And hopefully it gives us even more insight into the world of Nintendo than we had before. All right, my friends, that's today's big story for March 23rd, 2017. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing and commenting, all that good stuff. It's very much appreciated. I don't know what tomorrow's big story will be, but I'll be here to cover it. And I sure hope you'll be here to check it out. So until then, have a lovely evening and I will see you in a few short hours. Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe? We'd love to have you. If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot!